Hello everyone. Uh, well, I just purchased a brand new product, um, and this is a fan. And full disclosure, I, uh, I'm kind of a sucker for fans. Uh, I own a bunch of them, and I own a variety of uh, vintage heavy-duty fans, which I really like. Um, vintage oscillating fans, and, uh, and some newer ones. Well, this is a brand new one, and the reason I went for this is because uh, it seems pretty unique. Um, and so let's take a look here. So this is a pure flow circulator is what it's called. And there's a couple reasons why I picked this up. All right, so the main reason is that this actually looks to be a uh, in, heavily inspired by a Japanese fan that I've wanted. It's uh, by a brand called Belmuda, and um, it has a very unique blade design. So I was at Bed Bath and Beyond yesterday, and I saw this fan, and I saw that it had the same one. And at first, I thought it was that fan released in America, and it's not. It just looks like it was uh, heavily inspired by it. But that Belmuda fan you can't get in America. Uh, and it's very expensive. It's in like Dyson fan territory. It's three or four hundred dollars, and I'm not going to import it. Um, but this one looks like uh, looks really similar. So I thought I would unbox it, try it out, and see how it works. Okay, so let's take a look at the box. Uh, this is a pure flow circulator. Now, what they claim is that it has more air circulation than traditional fans, and that's because of the blade design, which I'll show you, uh, and the oscillation mode. So this one can oscillate horizontally and vertically. That's a very unique feature. It can also do both of them at once, so I'll show you that. Uh, it's got what's called dual blade technology. I'll show you that. I feel like they dropped the ball not showing the blade on the box, but whatever. Um, you can adjust the height on it. It has 12 fan speeds. Holy crap. Uh, and it's got a timer, which is great. I have a, a couple of fans that have that. It's a nice feature. And a remote control. It claims that it has dramatic circulation, it's remarkably quiet, and it's easy to clean. All right, so we'll take a look. Let's see if there's anything else in the box here that's worth looking at. Uh, it's got a DC motor. It claims to be very energy efficient. And the little circuit board there, neat. Uh, yeah, easy to clean. That's the blade right there, which looks really unique. Uh, and that was, that was what made that Belmuda fan interesting. Um, it says it has dramatic airflow. It's really quiet. That's awesome. Ideal for use anywhere. Uh, it claims, we'll see how the airflow is, it claims it has more air circulation than a regular fan. That could be because of the multiple oscillation options, but if the blade is, if the blade works really well, then we may have something really unique here. So, multi-directional, it says here, pure flow, pure flow circulator cools effectively with its unique dual blade technology that produces seven times more air volume than a normal fan while consuming minimal energy, as low as two watts. Now, that bold claims. Uh, the exclusive nature mode replicates the natural outdoor variable, variable breeze, and sleep mode produces a more quiet, relaxing breeze. The possibilities are endless, comfortable, cool, and convenient with pure flow circulator. All right. Very cool. And actually, wow, this, they have all sorts of crap all over this box. Uh, Simultaneous oscillation, vertical, horizontal, or both. You can adjust the height on it. The blade, dual blade technology. I'm very interested in trying that out. Again, heavily inspired by Belmuda. Um, and a bunch of unique settings. So let's go ahead and open this up and see, uh, see what we got. Okay, so <laughs> full disclosure, um, when I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and picked this up, the one, the one they had on the floor, it almost looked like it had been returned because of the way the box was taped up. And so I made the poor girl that was working there get me one off of the very high shelf in their, in their store. She got me another one and it's taped up the exact same way. So I think that's just how Pure Flow packaged it. But let's go ahead and open it and see what we got. Uh, from Bed Bath & Beyond, this was uh, $119. These retail for $100, and what Bed Bath & Beyond does is they, they, they give out those 20% off coupons all the time. And let's see, let me try that again. And with it being 20% off, it still makes it a little bit less expensive than other stores, but it's kind of like a Kohl's strategy. I'm a little disappointed. And you can't price match and use the coupons. That's how they get you. Let's take a look here. Oh, wow. Okay, so hopefully this is all shot. Well, look at that. That's the, that's the entire thing. <laughs> okay, so let's see here. Wow. Oh, okay, so some assembly required. We'll see how much of this actually makes it into the, this video review. 
Uh, watch me move, I'm different. Okay, so for demoing purposes, we got, this is not connected to the motor at all, so I'm gonna have to take this apart. I'm gonna unlock this and try to open this up. Okay, so, well, it's kinda cool since I'm reviewing here. This is the unique blade. Uh, and yeah, it looks different. You don't see too many with these with this dual design and what they claim is that the blade itself um, It kind of concentrates it towards the center and then blast it out. We'll we'll see We'll see if the if the tech is really uh, moves seven times more air like they claim. So uh, yeah, we'll see So I'm gonna go ahead and open the rest of this up set this aside You may not get to see this full assembly. Oh, okay. Well, this is all just one piece Um here it is, it's got a nice base with a little display on it. There's the motor with the dual oscillation. You have kind of a unique setup here. And a carrying handle on the back, always appreciated. Uh, we've got a remote, some kind of locking device. Um, let's see here. I'm gonna really try to keep this in shot. Uh, you can adjust the height, and I don't know how, but you can. Well, yeah, I have no idea, so we'll figure that out. Um, it's DC, so you've got a power supply. You don't get that. I mean, most of my old fans are just AC fans, 120 volts. Uh, this one's DC, so you have, again, you've got a power supply to, uh, to change it from the electricity from AC to DC. Various little parts. You've got a manual, which I'm probably going to have to use. Oh, and then the rest of the base. There's, there's actually more to it here. So... I'm going to go ahead and let's just get all this stuff out at the very least. It's got a remote. There's that. There's this. Uh, I'm going to take a minute and put all of the, this together because there's, I don't think that'll be too exciting to watch. And then we'll go ahead and try it out. All right, the fans all together. Uh, it actually, it wasn't too bad putting it together. Um, it, it only took a couple minutes. So down here you've got uh, manual on the fan controls. So there's that unique blade that I was talking about, and uh, as you can see, it's kind of in, there's the center ring and then the outer ring of blades, and uh, this is supposedly the, the meat and potatoes of it, and uh, what, uh, I guess it's more effective than a regular uh, blade setup of its size. It's pretty compact uh, as far as the, the blade cage, and this comes off really easily. Um, it just untwists, unlocks, so then you can easily dust off the blade. So let's take a look at the back here. Um, on the back, you've got a carrying handle, and you've got kind of a dual like pivot thing here because uh, it can oscillate both uh, vertically and horizontally. This is where the remote stores on it. And then on the back here as well, you've got this button, and you can adjust the height. So as you can see, it's spring-loaded, so it just did that automatically. I'm going to raise it up to the highest setting, and which is there. Whoops. Sorry. Do this while holding the... There we go. Pull this out. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. The um, the adapter over there, honestly, it's kind of big and it would take up a couple outlets if you didn't have it on the end of a power strip, but whatever. Uh, the remote, uh, easy enough to understand. Let's see if I can get this into focus. You've got your fan speed. Uh, you can set a timer for it and oscillation. It has what's called quiet mode and comfort mode. So uh, let's uh, go ahead and try this out. All right, so I've got the remote here, and I'm gonna go ahead and run through the features. So first thing, let's go ahead and turn it on. And there we go, that's on low speed. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this all the way up. Uh, we've got, and again, we've got our fan speed right here. And there's 12 speeds, I like that. I like that about, the, about modern fans. Most of my fans are two to three. Okay, so now it's on 12, that's full blast. Airflow, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, and it's a complete jet. So let's see. I've got this. My it's very scientific. My paper towel, <laughs> but yeah, you can see it's it's moving some air. It seems like that would be that'll work well. Uh, so then, along with that, it's got a quiet mode. Now, even on the highest speed, that turns it down it is noticeably quieter. Now, even on the highest speed, it's pretty quiet to begin with. So it seems like you could use this in your bedroom at night and it's not gonna be disruptive, but maybe be a good amount of white noise. I usually use an, an air purifier during the winter and a fan during the summer. Um, I'm gonna turn quiet mode off, so let's try the oscillation. 
So, so this is what you would expect from any fan. Uh, it, it might, I don't know if the video or if it's, if it's showing on camera, admittedly, the lightweight plastic cage is shaking a little bit. Um, I mean, that's not, that's not a big deal, but you know, if you're really going for a very, very refined design, that would be something maybe you'd avoid, but what else? Um, so there's that. I'm going to go ahead and wait for it to center. Very exciting. Um, okay, so that turned that off. It also oscillates vertically. And I hope this shows. I'm going to adjust my camera just a little bit. Sorry, guys. I had it on quiet mode, and I'm like, that's not moving in the air. Okay. So now it's back on full blast. Now, um, for the grand finale, you can do both at once. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on horizontal oscillation while vertical's going. And now, oh, it just blew away the paper towel off, off camera. It blows all around the room. Now, what I think is that in tandem with an air conditioner, either the vent on the floor or a window unit, which I'm going to set this up with shortly, um, I think this feature would potentially, you know, help cool down the whole room. That's really, wow, it just goes totally vertical. Hmm, kind of cool. I mean, I've never seen a fan do this before. <laughs> I'm not sure if PureFlow invented this or not, but it's neat. And the breeze feels good. I'm standing a few feet away and I can feel it. So it's not, again, it's not as powerful as, um, you know, my Emerson fans from the 1940s. But uh, for a modern fan, it seems more than adequate. Hmm. Okay, so then the last thing I'm going to try, there's this comfort button, which is the, the nature mode. So with that, it will randomly change the speed to, I guess, to, you know, if it's in, if you're in a room that's climate controlled, it'll, you know, kind of affect circulation. So we'll try that again in my, in, uh, near my AC and we'll see how that works. It just kind of zigzags all over the place. But hey, when it hits, it does feel really good. Cool. So let's see if I can get this normalized a little bit. I wonder if, there, if there's like a, a recenter button, or if you do that with the fan, if that's an issue. Okay. All right, yeah, that's pretty nifty. You know, I mean, for a hundred bucks, it's definitely higher end than a regular uh, cheap oscillating fan, uh, but it's kind of cool. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set this up by an AC and we'll see how that, uh, see if it helps it. Okay, so to wrap up the video, I wanted to show you uh, where I plan to keep this uh, PureFlow fan set up. Uh, this is my bedroom and my bedroom is the only room in my home that's air conditioned. And I wanted to, uh, I want to show you that if you keep a fan by the AC, and this is, I think this is pretty common knowledge, but it'll, it'll help move that cool air, uh, you know, it'll make a dramatic difference. And um, uh, with the way that it oscillates, a unique way, uh, it's, it's already cooled the room down quite a bit since I've turned it on. Uh, and I think it'll keep the whole room nice and comfortable. So I'm going to give this a, I'm going to, you know, give this a shot. Uh, so far, you know, even though uh, in, in around a hundred bucks, uh, it's not a cheap fan. Uh, it is unique. It seems to be doing a very good job. It's very quiet. I actually can't hear it operating over the air conditioner right now. The air conditioner is quiet enough, so I like that a lot. Um, but yeah, it seems like a pretty uh, a pretty nifty product. Um, we'll see how this does during the rest of uh, summer, and then maybe uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe during the winter, I'll keep it on uh, to circulate heat or. Uh, you know, just <laughs> just to keep me comfortable. 
And, uh, but yeah, uh, kind of a, a unique oscillating fan. I've never seen one quite like it. Uh, and uh, it seems to work quite well for, uh, for what it is. So uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And uh, yeah, have a great day.